this is my sign graph as you can see here first of all we need to get onto 4 pi how did i make it well with this circumference with medic class it helped me a lot because i tried to copy the same circumference but here in my graph as you can see here so for example we're going to make the first plot that the first plot point will be pi over 12 pi over 12 will be equal to 15 degrees so we take the point of 50 degrees and with the help of the ruler we're going to make it into the graph that will be the first point and we keep doing the same process in all the graph like for example here in pi in pi over 6 that will be with help of this circumference we already know that will be 30 degrees as you can see here we plot them we plot this point in the graph so with the help of the ruler it, it is too easy until i make that process until i get here to 90 that is the top of my graph so 90 90 that will be also pi over 2 is the same process with the help of the ruler we can plot this point until 90 you can see that my graph is start going down but it's, it's still the same process so like for example here in this in this point that will be 345 degrees we can with the help of the ruler we can plot it like this way as you can see here and also in the top that the top will be 260 70 degrees sorry is the same process we can do it here as you can see and we i make the same process until until 4 pi this is my cosine graph i make my cosine graph until 4 pi also so first i will use the as you can see it's very similar to the sine graph that i already explained but the only difference will be that we start from the top one that for example in the top this will be 90, 90 degrees we plot the first one in 90 degrees uh, also i use the help of my circumference that we make in class for be more clear so it's the same process we, we take the top of the point that will be 90 degrees and we plot it into the graph the difference also in the sign, yes, as you remember, that is, it starts from here and it starts going up. In this one, we start we start on the top of the the top point and start going down, but it's the, still the same process here down as well is the same process with help of the, the line that I make until the end of this the, this point into the center of the circumference, it will be the same. So I take this point and with the help of the ruler, I can plot it in my graph like this as you can see here and I start doing the same process like for example here in p it, this will be my top my top will be 270 degrees and i make the same process i plot them in this way i make the same process until i get here to 4 pi as you can see this is my tangent graph i also made it until 4 pi so I, as you can see here what I did first was to make my circumference with the degrees around them and I had, already have my radiance here in the circumference or circle we made on class that will help me to make this graph the difference between the cosine graph and the sine graph it's much as you can see it's too much as you can see so for example remember that in sine and cosine graph the point in the line into the center and the circumference will stop here at the end of the circumference in the tangent graph we don't stop here we will keep going onto the line that is uh, separating my my circumference and my graphs until that line so it's very easy until we get this line into the line that is separ separating them will be easy so 50 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees say 75 degrees will pass the paper so i didn't plot them that's why because it passed the paper we make these lines in purple as you can see here these lines in purple because it passed i also make the same process uh, in this but it here will change because here we need to start from the top and the top here will be 30 degrees so it will be the same one 30 degrees uh, 350 degrees 330 degrees and 345 degrees i make the same process until here because here we need to start over like this one so it's the same process and i repeat it until 4p for pi sorry as you can see here this is my other graph i also made it until 4pi 
uh, this one also has these intersection lines that will be called the not existent points that's why i make those lines as you can see here what i did in this graph was to make the same points of the cosine graph but like in the opposite way as you remember the cosine graph was like this i in this case i did it in the opposite way and i followed the same pattern uh, I, um, until i get to 4 pi this will be my second graph as you can see it was so the like the explanation i also make it until 4 pi the explanation will be the following so first of all we're going to focus in this point and this point that will be minus one one that thinks of that we can have the amplitude of the graph what i did to plot these like these points on the graph was very simple i did take the measurements for each line of each degree like for example this is 15 degree I take the measurement and plot it into the graph, the measurement of 30 degrees, the measurement of 45 degrees, of 60 degrees, 75 degrees, but 75 degrees has already passed the graph. And I make the same process here. So I take those measurements of these lines and with those measurements, with the help of the ruler, I plot it in my graphs. These lines also will be the points that doesn't exist, like for example, this one does go, that goes too far too far sorry it will be those lines that represent as you can see here this is my cotangent graph i also make my circumference will help with the one that we what, that we did in class we will start here in the top as you can see and we will finish here as you can see so it was the same process we're going to take so 15 degrees we plot them 30 degrees we plot it into the graph and 45 degrees we plot into the graph but if you can see also it has here 90 degrees we have no existing points right here because it will go and they we already have the lines that will be of the not existing um, points we follow the pattern the same as uh, down until 4 pi 